All right, so I'm going to show you some cool comic book covers. So this is a little bit all over the place. Most of these are Neil Adams. Uh, so it's pretty awesome. Bronze Age. So I typically do Marvel. There's a lot of DC in here. It's really cool. So uh, a couple times a week, I show folks um, my comic books, and these are the new stuff. And I gotta, I'll show them to you. And I got some slabs over there coming. Um, some other great stuff coming. Um, so subscribe uh, if you want to follow along and see when I show you. But today is some really cool Neil Adams, one of the legends. So let's take a look at him. All right, not all of these will be Neil Adams covers. So let's start with a definite Neil Adams cover. Uh, I love these old comics, these old detective comics. And of course, Neil Adams became a superstar uh, drawing Batman. And you can see why. No one did the Batman cape better than Neil Adams. I think this is a great cover. And most of what we look at is going to be in this era. So it's not just Batman. Lois Lane, girlfriend of Superman. I always like some of the those old covers as well. Those were fun. This, I don't think, is a Adams. Oh, yeah, that's a Grail. Uh, Mike Grail, he was a good artist as well, but not Neil Adams. But anyway, that's still a fun cover from that, that general area. We're talking about some Bronze Age, um, Batman, Detective Comics. Now, this, those are 30-cent comics. You want to see a 15-cent comic? This is some old-school Wonder Woman. This is the new Wonder Woman. <clears throat> now, I'm not. I'm a Marvel zombie. I'm not a DC guy, so correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I think it was during this era that the new Wonder Woman meant she kind of, forg she kind of uh, said, I'm going to give up my powers and just be a warrior and kind of do martial things weapon prowess um and that was what was new about that uh you you know you can correct me wonder woman fans you can let me know in the comments this one is roached up this is in bad shape you can see this was beat up but that's a 12 cent comic you gotta love a 12 cent 15 cent comic old school supergirl <clears throat> now this is a great comic here the 100th you know, all those DC, and here's a Marvel just kind of stuck in here. But uh, now remember, back in the day, comic books didn't have as much superhero-ishness that they had before. There was a lot of war comics, um, a lot of horror romance comics were big. And so um, Nick, Nick Fury kind of uh, took that, what was great about those war comics, and carried it forward into the Marvel Universe. Um, it's always kind of liked uh the Howling Commandos when I was a boy. There's an old school 15 cent Supergirl that is beautiful. <clears throat> and then here, uh, correct me in the comments, I think this is a Neil Adams. Um, I might be wrong. I know for sure this isn't. This is a Sal, Sal Bashima. Uh, another incredible artist and the reason I bring this in here again it's of that era but this starts the Cree Squirrel War which was one of the most iconic storylines in all of comics and of course Neil Adams was known for that storyline um, and here's proof this is number 92 this is an Adams cover here uh, again part of the the Cree Squirrel War great storyline and and all the comic books. Here's the the Jesus cover of Green Lantern and Green Arrow. Here was another of the world's finest. I love this. Um, and again, I'm not a DC guy, but I can appreciate good stuff when I see it. Back during that era was just some uh, some good work. And I know for sure these are Neil Adams. <clears throat> these are. Phantom Stranger, number 18. Phantom Stranger, number 19. And again, not all of these covers are Neil Adams. Again, you know, some uh, Mike Grill, some Sal Bashima, some others. But these are two Neil Adams classics. Not Batman, where he made his name. 
but again you can just see some of the i mean is that not a billowy batman cape and just the way he drew, drew uh, curves and form and um, facial expressions. He was an absolute legend. All right, that's all I got today. A little bit of all over the place. Uh, my family's getting loud upstairs, so I need to knock this off. Um, but I do try to put out a couple of these a week. Uh, so subscribe if you're into cool comic book covers. A lot of folks ask me, if I sell my comics, I mean, yeah, but I'm kind of into hoarding comics, but, um, on eBay, you can, you can search nerds on earth. That's, uh, that's my store, uh, nerds on Uh, you can get tons of great content on comic books and board games and D and D and all sorts of stuff. Um, and you know, I do sell a few, uh, a lot of my big dogs, uh, sold out on my eBay store. Um, you know, first appearance echo, that sort of thing. Those are, those are going fast and, and I had several of those, but, uh, you know, I, I do have some, some fun stuff up there and some stuff like this and, and that sort of thing. So, uh, appreciate you watching, subscribe if you want to, you know, follow along and, and look some, some more cool comic book covers. All right. You take care.